Hey, welcome back to 90s Google Cards. Jake Roy here. So I've got a fun box and pack opening. Some products that are very similar to stuff that we've done before and some products that we've had incredible luck with uh, really dating back to the beginning of this channel. So this is going to be a fun trip down memory lane for a lot of us uh, and I'm really hoping to see some new things in here too. So let's get right into it. All right, welcome back. So we have a familiar looking product probably to many of you. So we've got 98.99 tops, and this is series two. So we have a retail box here. Uh, you can see it's still in its old 90s clamshell type box packaging rather than the cellophane you'd see in a hobby box. And then we also have two packs of hobby. So I thought we'd just open these up together, but there are some really, really fun things. And you know, the first video we actually had on this channel, I opened a hobby box of series one, and then I also did another opening with some series two, uh, some jumbo packs trying to talk about and trying to pull some of the chrome preview refractors. So I'll link both of those videos up in the description below if you uh, wanna refresh your memory or if you haven't seen those, you can go take a look at some of those product openings. So there's some differences to these uh, and some really fun things, some things that I could add to my PC uh, and some fun things to show off that I already have in my PC. So let's get into what we could pull. All right, so here we've got some PC items, so we will start getting right into it. So first here, we've got the classic collection. So we've got a Larry Bird here. These are one in 12 packs, so kind of a fun uh, little thing to get some of the older players in. And so we've got Larry Bird, there's also a Dr. J, there's a Will Chamberlain, Kareem, Magic, a lot of the old players from you know the 70s, 80s, 60s uh, that are still kind of relevant and, and hobby heroes. So cool stuff here that you can get some of those those retro players, um, one in 12 packs, not a ton of value in any of these, so uh, fun to pull, but but not making a lot of money on them. And moving up, we've got the gold label. So these were a really, really fun product when I was a kid. So these are one in 12 packs. We've got here, we've got the Jordan, and then we also have the Kobe. So I remember these when I was a kid. I absolutely love these designs. My, my brother, my friends, we all really love these. It was a nine player set. Uh, I always wish that there was a uh, penny in the set, but unfortunately, Jordan's definitely the best guy in there. Kobe, Tim Duncan were some of the other guys. Uh, there's also guys like Antoine Walker, Stefan Marbury. So a lot of fun players that were big stars back in 98, 99. Um, really great cards. So one in 12, not a ton of value again. I mean, the Jordans sell well because people love these cards, but uh, it's not, you know, it's not paying for college payments or anything like that. But really cool looking cards there. Love to see those. And then there's also two variations on these cards. So there's the black label. So the black label here, we've got a Jordan. Uh, these are one in 96 packs. And you know, so very cool, uh, but it's something that can easily go undetected. So here you can see the gold label next to the black label. When you see them next to each other, you can clearly see that the logo is a different color. That's the only variation here. Uh, post the gold logo. This one, it almost looks blue sometimes. And I know some people have gotten these and thought, oh, the, the gold labeling just kind of fell off. Uh, but that's an intended variation. So pay close attention when you're when you're going through your cards to see if maybe you've got that variant. Uh, but there's there's no other indication on on this card. And then the next variant, which was really some of the great fire I would love to see us pull is a red label. So the red variant, uh, it's a little bit clearer to see the, the red on that label up there, but also on the back, it's numbered to 100. The interesting thing with the numbering is they didn't actually use gold uh, on that numbering. So it's really just stamped into the card. So that's pretty hard to pick up. You really have to kind of get the shine right on it uh, or get a magnifying glass to pick that up. You can definitely see them um, but it, it can be hard to see. So you will definitely notice the red on the label and then you know you can go searching for the number on the back. So those would be great to see us pull one of any player really. And then moving up, we've got the Kickstarts. So the Kickstarts is uh, you know a really cool hollow foil card. Uh, these were one in 12 packs, so not terribly rare, but you know again, a fun set that I really liked as a kid and I have fond memories, my brother, uh, pulled a Vince Carter. So Vince, being a rookie in this year, he was you know one of the top guys in the hobby, and uh, my brother was a huge fan of him. So he was ecstatic to pull one of those. Uh, unfortunately, looking back at that card, it uh, it had a huge 
scratch on the front as soon as it came out of the pack, you know, one of those manufacturer defects. So these cards can be prone to damage due to, you know, just the, the full bleed on the, on the foil. So watch out for that, but really cool looking cards, you know, love seeing those in the nice light. And then similar to that, we have the Coast to Coast. The Coast to Coast are one in 36, but these are retail exclusives. So you can only find these in retail packs. Uh, and really cool, they also have a version in Topps Chrome uh, where you can kind of see some of the details in the background, but you can probably pick up, there's like a globe inside of a basketball in the background kind of playing on that coast to coast in the country. So really nice looking again. I love hollow foil on these cards. Uh, and you know, you've got a lot of fun stars. You know, you get the Iverson here. There's a penny that I would love to add to my collection that, you know, it's not a terribly valuable card, but just one that I haven't picked up yet. Uh, Kobe's a, one of the top guys in this set, so a really fun set there for a lot of memories, but not a ton of value again. Then uh, moving up in kind of the same stratosphere, we've got one in 36 on the east to west, and these kind of have a chromium finish. These are in hobby and retail, so a little bit easier to find than the coast to coast at times. But you've got a player from the east conference, so this is Penny, and then on the back you've got a player from the western conference, and we've got Damon Stoudemire in this one. So these also come in a refractor parallel. So the refractors are much more rare at one in 144 packs. So another one that I would love to see us pull. I'd love to get any player. There's an Iverson version. There's uh, obviously the Penny out there. Uh, there's a lot of the great players from this time that uh, would be really fun to see. And these kind of, you can see, have a chromium finish. They uh, they look a lot like they could have been in Topps Chrome or Topps Finest. So that's interesting that they put those on an insert set in here, but not uncommon for Topps to do that. So that's the East and West. And then getting into some more fun stuff, we have the Chrome Preview. So this we have talked about in some of the prior videos, but these are one in 36 packs. They only have a few players. Jordan is really the guy to get. Uh, and this is, only in the tops product and these are numbered like they're from the base chrome set but you cannot get these jordan there's no jordan base card in the tops chrome set you can only get them in the previews and that goes for the other players in the set too so getting other players like john stockton or detlef shrimp uh you know this is the only way to get them so you got to get the series two got to pull one of these if you want to complete that whole 98 99 tops chrome set so really cool this is a fun picture that uh, a lot of Jordan fans really, really love this card. Centering can be key on these previews especially. So look for a good centered copy if you're looking to get one. And then you can also get, as we talked about in a prior video, the refractor version. So here we have the Jordan, and this is really the crown jewel of you know this product, as well as the Chrome preview. So the Chrome preview refractors are one in 40, but they're only in the HCP packs, which we talked about. Uh, you know, and it's hard to find a lot of information on those, but from what I understand uh, from our friend Michael Moeller, who is another expert in the 90s, those were home court uh, packs, home team advantage packs, uh, some people call them. So kind of a jumbo type of retail product that you're looking to, to pull these refractors out. Very rare to get. So a Jordan like this, you know, I've seen them sell, they vary considerably because they're pretty rare. Uh, you know, so I've seen them sell for eight, $900. I've seen them sell for $1,300. So, you know, right around that ballpark, um, you know, they're, it's a great looking card. I love this. I would love to see us get one. Um, but, you know, if you're looking to see what it is, you can see right on the back, it's got the refractor like normal base. And again, these are not in the regular Topps Chrome. You can only get these in those, those Topps packs. And then the other item that we don't have a version of is the autographs. So there's an autograph, uh, just one player on there. Those are ridiculously rare to pull. I'll slide a picture in so you can see them, but one in 378 packs. Those are hobby and retail. Uh, I would love to see us get one, but really, really hard to pull those. So um, we'll, we'll see if we get lucky. And then the last one that we could get is a Legacies. Now, Legacies are hobby only. Um, and right now, the Jordan that we have, as you might remember from our East Coast National video, is out getting graded by Beckett. So uh, I will put a picture in uh, from our prior video of what that looks like, but gorgeous card there. Uh, hopefully that grades really well for us and maybe we see another one, we pull another one. So let's get right in and hope we get some fire.
All right, so here we got the products. So we'll do the hobby packs first. You can see here on the retail box, these are 14 packs plus a bonus pack, they call it, it's 15 packs. These retailed for $14, so less than a dollar per pack. Now, you're probably looking at about $50 for one of these boxes, so uh, interesting there. But let's start with the hobby packs, and I'll get into that afterwards. Pack number one. And right now, just so you can see here, we have 11 cards. If there's a gold label or a black label or a red label, there will be nine cards in the pack. So kind of adjusting for that thickness of those cards. I think we've got an insert in this one. Starting out with some fire. I like it. Irvin Johnson. Got Pager Rookie. Very nice. Ron Harper. I want to see that shine. Tyrone Lou Rookie. Allen Iverson. I'm excited. There we go. Okay, a duplicate, but this is still gorgeous. Kickstart of Allen Iverson. So the kickstart is a 1 in 12 insert. Very cool. Great start. Sam Jacobson Rookie. Damon Stoudemire. Muggsy Bogues with the Warriors, Danny Manning, Gary Payton. All right, great start. Bottom left corner, that is messed up. Is it? Yeah, this one right here, left. Oh yeah, I see that. Did yeah. you think that was the Legacies? I was hoping. I didn't think, I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> but in all honesty, seeing all like, because the Legacies are a little more of a smooth, hollow. Look at that corner. Yeah, it's just. What happens after 20 years? All right, we got Howard Isley. We got Shaquille. Nice. Glenn Rice, Penny. There we go. Put Penny. Put own group in. <laughs> Terrell Brandon, Bryant Reeves, Rick Smith, Dale Ellis, Terry Porter. There's a finally got a rookie. And then there's the jacked up Chris Gatlin, which we go with the stars. <sighs> he was an all-star one year. Was he really? Yeah. I don't believe early, it. Early, I think, we used the Warriors. All right, let's get cracking into this. There we go, finally got in there. And these, you will see here, we get eight cards per pack. If we have a gold label, we're gonna have six cards in the pack. So a little bit less we should in these get a packs. We gold label, right? Uh, 12? We'll see. We should. All right, here we go. You can see just like the uh, video we did before, these 99 cents is what's stamped on there. So if you get a box, you get them for a little bit less. Because per watch, we should get classic. Kickstart and per, probably, per odds, we already beat the Kickstart. So. That was the hobby pack shape. This is a sealed retail box. Avery Johnson, Reggie Miller, a little bit of sticky, not too bad. Chauncey Billups with the Raptors, Sean Bradley, another Rick Smiths, Anton Jamison, rookie. Been a good rookie back then. Herbert Davis, Hebert Davis, and Tyrone Corbin. So. Ooh it's just a chasing kit. It's still pretty sweet. That's all right. So we got the coast to coast. Yeah. So that's the 136. Got a Felipe Lopez rookie. Mm. Stepania. Danny Manning. Ricky Davis rookie. Mitch Richmond. Terrell Brandon. How sad are you that that wasn't a coast to coast penny? I know. That would have been sweet, but. Them's the breaks. Jake, just pull a red label, Jordan. Okay. The last one I saw of that sold for like $2,500. I'll work on that. Yeah. Stacy Ogman. It's not this pack, so. Muggsy Bogues. 
There we go with a Vince Carter rookie. Love that photo. Sweet. Marcus Camby. Another penny. Very nice. He goes in the superstars pile. Chris Mills. Ryan Russell. Another Iverson. Very nice. And that's it. All right. Here's our gold label. Let's hope. AC Green, Tyrone Hill, your boy, mm. Harper, Lopez rookie, another Vladimir rookie, another Danny Manning. I've seen this group before. Another Ricky Davis rookie, another Mitch Richmond. <laughs> I don't think these are, you know, similarly collated at all. <laughs> want them all to have a gold label on them. Yes. No, I want them all to have a red label. Oh, okay. AC Green, Glenn Rice, Tim Hardaway, Keon Clark rookie, another Ty Lu rookie, Larry Johnson, Antonio McDice, everyone upside down. Kerry Kittles. Get dizzy. That might be a sign I do have to burn go. <laughs> Chris Weber. Where, where do you want to put Chris Weber? Put him wherever you want. Aaron McKee. Yeah, and J. Will rookie. Sweet. Larry Hughes rookie. Top center. Derek Fisher. Bob Sura. Bison Dele. Avery Johnson. Doesn't matter that I dropped it. Polar Classic Collection real quick out of this one, please. Why? Because I don't want to pull it. I want to pull a fun insert. <laughs> Cal Puccini. Rashawn McLeod rookie. Tony Kukoc. There's a Pager rookie. There's a Carl Malone. Who's that? Come on. Come on. Sam Mitchell, Jason Kidd, Hakeem, another sweet picture there, love it. Hakeem, the dream. You know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, all right. Right on the top, Keith Van Horn gold label. I don't think we could get a worse one. This is it, gotta say, go back and try again. Yeah. I mean, if it was a red label, that'd be pretty sweet. No, even black. We got uh, Michael Dickerson rookie, we got Grant Hill. David Robinson, Gary Payton, Brian Skinner rookie, and all-star Dale Davis. That's very similar to the old Candy rookie. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the Clippers just draft the same player over and over again <laughs> in the 90s. <laughs> It's a dollar. I, I want to see who else was in the set. Damon Sotomayor, that's the worst one you can get. Pat Garrity rookie. Is this? Don Reed. Don Reed, I've never heard of that. Antonio Daniels. Mo Taylor, love Mo Taylor. Chris Childs. Sean Kemp. Tyrone. Yeah. No, that's Irvin Johnson. All right, so what do we so per odds have the kickstart and the classic? Per the odds, I'll trade any of those for a Chrome preview. <laughs> I'll trade all of these for an auto. All right, all right we'll see what we got in this one. Okay, Dr. J classic. Yeah. You love the doc. I do. If there's anyone I would want, that would be it. Big Country, Rocky Rogers, Robert Tractor Trailer rookie. Yes, Corey Benjamin rookie. That's what we needed. That's what you need. Now here's the Tyrone Hill you wanted. Mm -hmm. Finish up with you, boy. Glad you get that one. I got two of them for you. Red. 
they look bad. They look... Yeah, okay. Dean Garrett. Dent in the front. Steve Smith. Paul Pierce rookie. Nice. Another dent. These are all dented. Uh, Hersey Hawkins. Just missing the uh, dirt now. Yeah. Terry Porter. Jason Williams. And the checklist. Okay. At least we got the checklist out of the way. <laughs> it's crucial. Alright. Here is your kickstart. Who do you want, Kobe? Yeah, preferably. Right, well, here's KG. Okay. Followed by Cherokee. Sam Jacobson rookie. Joan Howard. Nick Van Exel. Shaquille. Dana Barros. And... Hey, Olo a candy. See, doesn't that look just like the Skinner? They look like they're both drawings, to be honest with you. Like, look at the yellow candy and tell me that doesn't look like a kid drew it. No, I know. Well, it's because they did the jersey numbers. How mad are you that there's not a penny for old label? Dude, I was so disappointed when I saw the checklist as a kid. I was like, but why don't they have penny? Dale Ellis, Gary Payton, another Brian Skinner rookie <laughs> for that comparison for us. Dale Davis, Brig Country. Rodney Rogers, Tractor Trailer, and Corey Benjamin. And Josh, just... you pulled all the hits in this box. You're welcome. Yeah, so keep it going, but get a better one. Okay. Dale Ellis, Kenny Anderson. There you go, there's your hit, there's your Bonzi Wells. <laughs> Rafe the Friends rookie. Cheney, Damon Stoudemire, Dean Garrett, and Chris Weber. All right, so you should have a kickstart in there. It's still no Dirk. Did get a kickstart. And a Dirk. And a Dirk. And a red label. And an auto. Okay. And a chrome preview. Okay. I don't think I have any of those, by the way. <laughs> Stacy <laughs> Ogman. I think you have a kickstart. Michael Doliak, rookie. Cedric Henderson. Uh, we got Mike Bibby, rookie. Christian Leitner. It's not a rookie. Michael Dickerson, rookie. Grant Hill. And David Robinson. Get wrecked. No kickstart. Wait, wait, wait. We got to see. Did yeah. Have no, okay. Anything. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. So you guys saw what we pulled. So, uh, you know, did better than the odds in some cases and not as good in other cases. So, you know, we... We crushed the odds in the hobby packs getting, you know, just two packs and having something that's one in 12. Uh, you know, so that was fun. This is, you know, as you saw, I already have the Iris in my PC, but a really cool card that I like uh, quite a bit. So that's nice. But, you know, this is probably a $5 card, not a ton of value in that, but those packs don't sell for a ton. So that's the nice thing with these tops packs. You know, sometimes if you're patient, you can find these packs still, you know, they retailed for about a dollar a piece. You can still find them for a buck or two, maybe $3 is the most. I have seen some go for about $5 a pack, but you know, really that's that's pushing it for the value. So a dollar or two is what you're probably gonna expect to get packs for. So pulling this is was a nice hit uh, given, the, given the prices on those. And then the coast to coast in the retail box, you know, this is one in 36. It's a retail exclusive, so it was nice to pull. We didn't pull a kickstart, which per the odds, you know, you could say that we should have, but um, you know, this was a good pull. Again, not a ton of value here on the Jason Kidd. You know, this is probably another $5 card, maybe. Jason Kidd's not as collectible as a guy like Iverson, but um, you know, this is a harder pull. So it's an estimation there. Uh, the Dr. J was nice. I like Dr. J. He was one of my all-time greats that I loved growing up. So this, out of all of the cards, you know, already having Larry Bird, this is probably the other one that's right up there with Larry Bird that I would have wanted to have. So this was a fun one to pull, not one that I had, probably one that I'm gonna hang on to. So really cool, you know, the uh, rookies, we got almost all of the big stars. We didn't get a Dirk, but we got, you know, Vince Carter, we got the Jason Williams, who's a big star now, uh, Paul Pierce, so uh, did well with those. These cards, you know, again, you can find these. I have countless copies of, the Jason Williams uh, and the Vince Carter. So these aren't terribly valuable cards, but really fun cards that I, I love. They bring back a lot of memories, so.
If you have a favorite player, go grab their their insert. You know, get two pennies, which is which is pretty cool. Almost dropped that one. Not too bad. Um, but again, another one that I have countless. You know, I opened a lot of these packs as a kid and still have opened a bunch of packs with you. So, uh, you know, the fun stuff that I talked about was the gold label. You know, I love this set. And uh, actually, one thing I didn't talk about when we were younger, one of the reasons why I know that it's hard to detect the black label, we had pulled, my brother and I, I think my brother actually pulled it, uh, was the Kobe black label that we never even noticed. We thought we treated it like it was a regular gold label, which was still a good card to us. Uh, but it wasn't until we kind of resurrected our collection almost 20 years later that we were going through the cards and actually noticed that one was a black label. So it went undetected for us for, you know, many many years and uh, and then we finally realized what it was so that's you know I know from experience that you can you can kind of miss small little nuanced details like that at times if you don't know what you're looking for so that's why I like to point those out um, but like I said I was bummed that Penny wasn't in the set uh, this is one of those insert sets I absolutely loved I love the design and then tops ended up making this into its own set uh, of Topps Gold Label in 99-2000, but by that point, Penny was already with a new team, so he was with the Suns. So while the design looks the exact same, the Penny card isn't in the Magic, which I prefer. I love Penny in his old Magic uniform. Uh, so that's one of those things that I always wished, you know, if I could make a custom card, which I can't, because <laughs> I don't know how to make it high quality, but um, I would love to see a Penny version of this. That would be great. So question of the day, you can drop down in the comments, what's an insert card uh, that was never made of your favorite player or a player that you liked that you always wished to have seen. So mine definitely is the gold label of Penny. I would have loved to see a red label, number 200. That would be a crazy insert. Uh, and again, him in the magic uniform. So I have to settle for stuff in the same design, but with the Suns uniform. So that's unfortunate for me. That's the question of the day. So drop that down in the comments. What is an insert set that you would love to see your favorite player that they didn't make? So as always, thanks for coming and enjoying the pack opening and some of the conversation about this great hobby. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New pack openings or box openings like this will drop on Wednesdays. Any bonus videos will drop on Fridays. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll talk later. Thanks.